Now, this is the style of fly I'm going to be tying. Uh, basically what these are, or better known as, is uh, Scandinavian tube uh, or temple dogs. Uh, there's other names, I've heard other names for it uh, over the years. But basically what these flies are, it allows you to fish a method. Uh, the fly swims very much like a fish because there's more resistance at the front and less at the back so they actually got a lovely teardrop shape so you got a lovely movement in the flies and uh, it's like I probably I would tie 95% maybe even more uh, these flies especially for Norway and uh, some other countries um, it just depends they do fish here I have friends that use them all the time so one friend that is, just loves uh, the Green Highlander who quite regular fishes these but you have to watch when you're fishing probably the most popular length would round about 2 inch would be the kind of nice taper for our waters anyway for the larger size I mean they go far bigger than this like they go away get really large sizes now I'm using a weighted tube I mean a, a tube that's made of uh, in this case brass this is the T tube from Sean Stanton. Now this is a 15 mil, the smallest one, probably equivalent to a half inch. Now as you can see, I've got it in the. the this is an HMH tube fly adapter, which uh, yeah you can put a pin through and obviously put the tube on it. This hasn't got its light in a in a liner on. Yeah, yeah. I usually do that um, once I finish the fly. Um, you can do it either, it doesn't matter. If you're holding it in a pin, you need to obviously put the sleeve in it. It does help to hold it. Um, but you really need to, I mean, I've got pins. I get questions about pins. I've got everything from, like, this is a, an old a blind eye hook. There used to be a bend on that. There's a tapered hook, blind eye, which I've used to uh, hold. I've got the normal pins that you can buy. I've got everything to, just to get the, the tube to sit. I mean, really, I should have this tube further out and away from the, the adapter so you can see it a wee bit better. But in this style of fly, you're basically forming a, a wing and a throat. So uh, I'll let you see. You'll see how it develops anyway. Now, the thread I'm going to be using, this is the Fire Orange Thread in 8 -0. Now, we start, wax the thread as you see there, and we take the thread down, remove the waste, and the way down as well, I'm going to tie in the Opal Mirage, this one. This is a large, just for a tag at the back. Now we just run it, I run it to the, the adapter nearly itself and then come up maybe a 2 or 3 mil. Now to protect this, I wind it over I like a super glue. It just will obviously last longer if you do that. It just warms up the bark, gives it a bit of colour. Uh, the Mirage tinsel is nice when you've got materials coming over it. I'll trim that away. Now, this style of fly, I'm going to be using a, a couple of ways you could tie it to help lift the wing. You can tie the hair forward, draw it back, or you can use a hackle to basically hold it up. So what I'm going to do is get a hackle here. This is fluorescent orange. It's it's basically, it basically went peachy, sometimes it does that, and that's what I'm looking for. I'll show you the colour. Um, it's quite a nice colour. It's a really warm. Now I'm not putting a tail in it, this will give an impression of that, but at the same time it's giving uh, a bit of movement at the back, as well as holding the wing. I'm only putting in two or three turns. Not many. It's sitting like a dry fly hackle at the moment. You can use a hen if you want. Just basically bring it back. I mean, this is just you want to be able to see through these fibers, get the light, an underwing. But I'm going to tie it in before I do the body. Now, this is in the same dye, this is Arctic Fox. So I'm just going to put a, basically like a tail, really, but it's further up. It's to actually taper with the wing. Now, you're looking for a length round about just slightly longer than the shank, the, the, the tube length. For that, so I'm going to basically brush it through through a comb, open the fibre out a wee bit. Make sure it's 
through your length you're fine especially flat on top really you could I used to tie it forward and pull it back which has helped to keep it up as well but the, in this case I'm using the hackle to do that a bit wax on my thread dubbing as I said is a mix or a blend between a rainbow light bright and some black dubbing it could be anything SLF or anything like that it just helps to hold it together now you can see I'm a distance away and I'm going to basically work towards the hackle and the wing and then come back up now you need at least around about uh, I would say probably about 4 mil or so to get the wing and the hackle in here so again I'm going to use it seems a lot of dressing here but it, it does pull together at the end so and I will use um, this is a badger hackle that's dyed um, basically a hot orange and red it's a flame really I'll show you the colour it's really bright so it's got the orange and you can see a bit of red through it so it's just the way you dye things that's the way I, I like to do now when you tie this in by the tip the reason being that's where the best fibres are in this hackle this is a Brahma cape you see the, the hackle down the base is just quite plain but the tip has got a lovely colour and shine just fold the hackle again I'm only put two or three turns in here not many so now the and the T these type this style of tubing it has a lip or a flange as they would call it I think and it does help to keep it keep the head neat you don't there's less chance of you like basically falling off and I'm going to put some uh, fox again we've got the hot orange this is just a from the tail. You don't need much. Just warms it really up. Bring it through the comb. Just kind of looking at the length. I'm taking away the kind of longer fibres. Now you're looking slightly, like probably twice the length of your fluorescent orange. Now you could tie this again forward and pull it back, but we'll just leave it as normal and use a hackle. And it's very light, there's very little um, hair there, it's just enough. Just tidying this area up here, probably got wax on my thread. You can see like it's tapering up, tapering out, so you got a tapering shape, you got a teardrop shape. Got a wee bit of flash in here if you wish. I'm just putting some orange in this case. Crinkle flash, so I'm here. Now, you want, I'm just going to line the ends up here. I usually like a couple of strands of length of the wing, at, at the length it is at the moment, and then the two, I'm going to basically catch them on top, a couple of turns, and then bring one down my side and one down the other side slightly and I want these slightly longer again make sure there's wax on your thread now what I've got here is some fiery brown this is fox it's just what you're doing is warming the colour up these are good colours and you don't as I say you don't need much can bring it through my fingers here instead of the brush just to show you. So it's just spreading the fibre, flattening it out so you get a lot of movement. Slightly longer than the orange. Just tie this on the top. Trim away the waste. Yeah. Pull the fibres back. Okay, I'm going to wax on my thread. 
There we go. I mean, it's. I'll pull together near the end. You'll see it, how it works when it comes together. Now, what I'm going to do here is uh, get some. This is again some forks again, but this is uh, a nice piece. It's got quite a lot of guard here on it, but you don't need much. Really, a silver fox, sorry, not Arctic fox, that. Again, I'm just spreading the fibre. You know, looking at the taper. Just lay it on the top, taper now. And then tie it on the top. Keeping the colour of the fly, you can see how it gets warm, it's a nice colour combination. You see these flies are, they are I class them as a, me a method, when things are hard going and nothing happening at all, you can put one of these flies across the pool and it suddenly wakens up. And if you don't catch on it, you can even then, I would, if I had to see that it's, the fish are reacting to it maybe the wrong way, sometimes they they do that, they get a bit spooky with it. What you would do is take off and put a normal fly on. At least they're, uh, they're, they're, there's something changed, they, they kind of mood, their mood, and that can happen. I mean, years ago, you've heard stories where they send their dog in across the pool, I mean, swim about, call it back, and basically it would upset the system. It would upset the fish, the fish would move about, and then, then after a wee while they would start to settle back in, but they'd be more, they would notice your fly more. Well, this is basically like, if you put a, one of these sometimes across the pool, it's like the dog swimming across the pool. Uh, it's that type of fly. Now, I've got a nice blue hackle here. And uh, this, these are just Chinese uh, or Indian, it depends. Uh, just a nice soft fibre, nice soft hackle, and we tie it at the front. Use hen or whatever you want. So I'm just taking away the fluff. Again, I'm tying it in where it suits the feather in this case. So it's tying in at the base. A nice fibre down there, nice and soft looking to get the right length. Just fold this back. And then you want nice straight turns. Now you need, probably I'll use up the, the feather. There's not much of it, nice and tight as you can. You can see I'm using my fingers. You can use your half of pliers. I'm actually going to fold this back, tidy the head area up. You can see how the the flange at the end, the lip, what you call it, the lip, is helping you hold back, ties in really well. Then I'm going to put two jungle cock eyes. Just get two of the right size. Usually I pick them before I film the fly, so it saves a wee bit of time. But anyway, I've got two here. The best thing to do is to lay one on top of the other. And then check the length that you want. Just could be slightly shorter the tube length, the body length, whatever you feel. When I'm happy with the length I want, just open a space out, but I'm still going to be tying on some of the fibres because it gives, a, gives it strength and grip. So I'm separating them so I can tie them both in together. So just on the sides, hold them, come around with two or three turns. At this point you can position the jungle cock to suit yourself. And the other thing is check the length. Just look, pull them together, look from the top down. You need to pull this one in a wee touch. Oops, too much, and you bring it back. When you're happy you can tighten up and then fold them back. I like to fold back the, the waist ends. It does bulk up the head a wee bit, but I'd rather do that then have the jungle cock fall off, so. Now you keep the thread tight, you can actually break these off. Sometimes. There you go, because you get a neater cut if you do that. 
but you've got to watch you don't pull them out and then I'll finish now I'm going to brighten the head up a wee bit because I'm going to use the glow bright floss as much as I use in varnish I'm going to brighten the head up make it a nice bright number 4 head this is a glow bright number 4 which is a fluorescent red so I'm just going to basically tie on break off or cut away the waste and just straighten the wet finish nice and tight watch a wee bit of fluff there and my sharp pair of cells get a nice neat cut and there we go and then I mean this is a nice length for this style of fly there's a lot of movement in that now what I like to do with the glow bright floss it's not the best brush, my brush is wasted this is super glue and I'm just going to lightly work my way around and take my time now the reason I like using super glue at this point is it dries quick you don't lose the colour dries quick and hard and then within a minute or two it will be ready to varnish this is a good minute since we did that now we check to see how things are sitting then all I have to do is varnish it just come round with a the normal varnish this is a vineyard varnish All the way around. There we are. Now, these tubes come with the inner tubing. When you buy it, you should be able to get the. This is the tubing here. This is uh, the show stand. It's the one eighth. Uh, there you go. One point eight millimeter inner tubing. Now just to get an idea, I'll, I'll just quickly do it on here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, just need to find my lighter. Now, find my lighter. What I'm going to do is melt the end, but when I when I go when I get the lighter, I roll the, the tubing so it's evenly melt, so it melts all the way around. Just roll within your fingers. And then you allow this to cool down, or you can blow it. The inner tubing you can slide through. And obviously the wheel up at the back here stops it. And then you can trim. When about maybe a good mill, mill and a half from the actual tube. Now I'm doing this on the vice normally I would take it off uh, and I would normally hold this up but I'm going to show you just take your time just allow it to melt up against there we are there I've got a pin here that I can or a tapered tube that I can actually put it in there just to make sure the hole's there I'll take it out the, the clamp now you can see it a lovely wee tube, stay in focus obviously. A nice taper. You've got a colour combination that really works. Uh, seems a lot going on there on the wee tube, but it shows you what you can do. Now you just have a sleeve you put on the back, that's why I leave that, but I, I obviously leave the gold colour works with the fly as well. So there we are. That's uh, well, I don't know sure what the name of the fly would be, you could call it what you like, but it's a great colour combination. And uh, just take your time, be patient with the dressing, with the fly. I mean, you can obviously tie them in different sizes, there's a fair bigger, as I say, a bit more hackle in there and so the material, but reducing it down. Uh, as I say, this, this is a 15mm, this one here is a 25mm. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. As I say, give it a go. 
Yeah, yeah, usually, once this is varnished, is quite thin, so dries really quick. Um, we'll just put a finishing coat on here. All the way around. You see how bright the head is. Good aiming point for any fish. I love a redhead and a, a salmon fly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, thank you for watching.